I've started adding some data into my Parking Finds spreadsheet. And now I can let Excel's predictive typing feature help me out. It will recognize that I've already typed the phrase Parks and Rec before, so when I go to type it again, that phrase will pop up and all I have to do to accept it is hit the tab key. So I'm going to click on cell A3 and I'm going to type the letter P. And just by typing that one letter, the phrase Parks and Rec pops up in that cell. And that's exactly what I want to be there. So I'm just going to hit the tab key and type in the rest of my data. Now, if I hadn't wanted to type Parks and Rec, for example, if I had needed to type payroll, then as soon as it popped up with the words Parks and Rec, all I would have to do is just keep on typing the word payroll, but since the next letter in the word payroll matches the next letter in the word parks, I would have to type the letter Y before Excel figures out that I don't actually want parks and rack, I wanted something else. Excel also recognizes patterns, including months and days of the week. This can save you a lot of typing time. I'm going to type the word Monday and then put my cursor in the lower right hand corner of that cell so that it turns into the black plus sign. Once my cursor has turned into that black plus sign, I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag it down a few rows. Notice that it doesn't stop once I hit Sunday. It, it'll keep repeating the days of the week over and over again. This trick works the same way for the months of the year. I'll go ahead and type April, hold down my left mouse button again when it's the black plus sign, and then drag my mouse down a few rows. This predictive feature also works with numbers, but only to a point. Let's say I've typed the numbers three, six, and nine in adjacent cells. I would select all three cells, bring my mouse down to the lower right hand corner of that last cell, and then when my cursor has turned into that black plus sign, I'll hold down my left mouse button and click and drag. And we can see that it continues the pattern. This doesn't work with every type of pattern, however. Let's say, instead of just adding three each time, I actually wanted to double the numbers. So I'm going to change it to 3, 6, 12. Now the next number in that pattern should be 24, but Excel doesn't figure that out when I'm using this click and drag feature. If I type a regular word or phrase into a cell, and use that click and drag feature, Excel will copy that word or phrase for me over and over again. I'm going to type El Camino College and then do that same clicking and dragging method I used with the previous examples. And as soon as I lift up my mouse button, I can see that it has repeated that phrase in each of the cells that I selected.